Hey, what is up, you guys? Edwin here, and welcome back to another one of my Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. Um, t a lot of you guys have actually been telling me that I should stop being so shy and actually do a full narrated battle, and that's exactly what I decided to do here. And so today, officially, I am becoming a PokeTuber. So today we actually have a pretty nice battle against somebody off of Twitch. His name is Saragin. Um, all his information will be in the description. So I kind of knew looking at the team preview that he would start off with his Darmanitan. As a lot of people tend to do. Because what they actually do is they actually tend to choice scarf it. Just so they could get that U-turn switch initiative. I decided to start off with my Shuckle. Just so that I'm able to set up my hazards. As I said he goes right into U-turn and he switches out. I'm kind of predicting the Galissapod which is exactly what he goes into. So right here I actually set up my Sticky Web. Which is basically the main reason that I win. So um, I kind of knew that a liquidation was coming. So I go, I stay in. Luckily, I'm able to tank it as he did break my sturdy when he went to U-turn. I decide to set up self rocks just so that whenever he decides to switch, I am able to at least do a little bit of damage. And down goes my chuckle to a liquidation, which was kind of expected. So now right here, I actually decide to go into my mega into my pincer, which is actually my mega pincer. Um, I decide to mega evolve just so that I'm able to do an aerial light return just to see how much it does. And I'm hoping it's knocking him down because I feel like this pincer does have max happiness. As unfortunately, it does it and my opponent actually survives with 3 HP. And his emergency kicks in, which allows him to switch into the one thing that I can't touch his dawn fan so now right here fearing the stone edge or even just the return to get my hazards off i decide to go into mimikyu as he actually does go into a stone edge unfortunately for him he misses it i'm guessing that his dawn fan must be choice banded because he switches out as this gives me the opportunity to set up a sword sand and potentially have a mimikyu sweep in my hands now he goes into Rotom, which I'm really not fearing because I feel like a plus two play Ruth, even if it's bold, will be able to knock him down. So I'm able to knock him down and right here the battle gets a little boring as you will see Mimikyu actually is able to knock down his Heliolisk, which had it not been for the sticky webs, he would have actually been able to outspeed me and destroyed my disguise and I knew that he had a Latias in the background, which because it gets levitate the sticky webs don't affect it so right here he brings out his latias and i'm kind of expecting mega latia so i decide to just stay in and go for a shadow claw as i was kind of scared that a shadow sneak won't be able to knock down a mega latias even with the defense boosts so right here he goes for a side shock of course destroys my disguise and i actually decide to go into shadow claw as it, thankfully it's able to knock it down and there's basically that was his biggest threat on the team besides his Dormanitan. So now right here he decides to switch into his Donphan which I kind of was expecting. I went for a Shadow Claw which now that I thought about it I should have went for a play rough just so it could have done extra damage. Um, Don Fan being the strong boy that it is was actually able to take this and he retaliates with an earthquake which is actually powerful enough to actually knock me down and down goes Mimikyu who's basically been the MVP of this team so now I decide to go into my Tapu Bulu because I knew that any grass move that I had would be able to knock him down as he actually decides to save his Don Fan and goes into uh, his Galissopod sacking it off with the 3 HP that it had left so now right here down goes his Galissopod which honestly in this battle it really flopped i was actually kind of expecting that it did something better as he decides to lead off his darmanitan now i knew that this was sparks and i knew that nothing i had wanted to take a flare blitz so i decided to just sack off my tapu bulu just so that now that next turn i'm able to bring in my zygarde and actually outspeed his darmanitan so now right here i actually bring out my zygarde now this zygarde is very special because it's actually one that i call during x and y so now right here he i actually go for a thousand arrows but he actually decides to switch which was odd to me which now that i'm actually recording the battle um i kind of thought about it 
he was actually expecting to survive this thousand arrows and then next turn he was actually going to go for an ice shard fortunate for me the hazards came through and secured that his don fan didn't survive the thousand arrow so now right here he goes into darmanitan and right here is basically the end of the battle as i decide to just go all with thousand arrows and down goes his darmanitan securing me the win and surprisingly i actually found this battle to be really fun even though he really didn't get to do much so i hope that you guys have enjoyed the battle um i'm kind of nervous and i don't know really how youtubers well poketubers really do it i actually wrote down everything on a piece of paper and i'm actually reading it that's why there's a lot of pauses because i actually cut the audio just in case like let's say i made a mistake with the sentence or something um but right now, I'm just talking to you guys directly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, there will be more in the future, hopefully. I will be getting a better mic as right now. I am actually recording off of my iPhone. I do use iMovie to edit these and whatnot. So of course, my editing won't be the best. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Links to all my social media will be in the description. So in case any of you guys ever want to battle me, just hit me up a message through like Twitter, Instagram. It really doesn't matter. And basically, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the day. And goodbye until next time.